Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. I'm gonna push play here. Look at this base. Beautiful, wonderful, amazing, chaos. Now today, we got a particular focus. We got a particular focus, and that focus is everything. I know, I know, it's a grand time. No, we, we've, we've been doing big tasks. We largely do big tasks every, every episode. And what we need to do is that small stuff today. So I want to focus on balancing out some things. We're probably going to be playing a little bit slower today too, just so we can kind of walk through the process. Because we're in a predicament in a number of ways. Right now I've noticed our food is a little bit on the low side, which is really not ideal. I'm also seeing water pour down here. Stop that. Um, but, you know, food's, food's going down a little bit, water is still pretty low, it's in a better place, and power is a suspicious item as well. So, you know, this bad boy here isn't going to run for another, you know, 20-something cycles, 21 cycles. And uh, as you can see from the gas... There isn't all that much natural gas in here anymore. There's natural gas over here, which is wild. Um, the whole bottom of the, the base is actually pretty well natural gas, unfortunately. And, uh, you know, we're, we're going to try and, and deal with that. But something, you know, we, 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 we one thing at a time, right? So let's go over here. Thank you to Sergeant Goodenough, who commented on my sort of pipe situation. Now... What we've got seems to be somewhat functional. Um, however, what they've suggested here is putting in another bridge. So, I'm if if what I'm reading in the comment uh, is what I what I think would be, it goes here and then we attach it like that. So let's get them to do this real quick. And the idea is that this will fill up any gaps that uh, that there are. And then at the same time, I'm just going to snip this. And actually, let me cancel that for a second because I'm realizing I made a mistake. Let's do the liquid bridge and it's going to be an insulated pipe here. Okay, now let's fast forward and make sure they do it on a nine. So I don't know who's going to do it. Meep. Meep. Uh, okay. All right, we'll see. We'll see. But we also have all of this other stuff. Like, there's there's other stuff. To what are they? What are they even doing? Why aren't they? I don't think there's more important tasks than this. Okay, never mind. Apparently, food is uh, food is crucial. <laughs> okay. And then talking about water, the water supply is very important because it's needed for our food largely. And um, what I'm thinking is we might want to pull water from here and just dump it all the way over here so that everything's kind of in one place. And then I also want to move the polymer press and then, you know, think about some plots of, of power. Also, what's going on here? Okay, so we are still siphoning out some natural gas thankfully you know the natural gas has largely uh, died down in this area and the breathability let's take a look at where's my breathability not completely terrible but there is kind of a carbon dioxide issue over here which does bring me to another roundabout issue is uh petroleum petroleum for plastic and petroleum for power um, you know, we use petroleum a lot here, but w one of the big things that I'm kind of recognizing again is water is needed to make petroleum. Uh, it's, it's needed to make the crude oil. And, uh, because I'm not seeing any, like, I don't see any, um, what are they called? Let me see here. Because we got a leaky oil fisher over here somewhere there it is leaky oil fisher F fisher you know where's maybe it's time to crack that open because i can deal with temperatures now that's not an issue temperature isn't a problem um 
but it is kind of, you know, we need oil, you know? We need to be able to pump oil into, I think, into here, really. Um, so let's see here about, oh gosh, <laughs> you know, I say we're going to do one thing at a time. It never happens that way. There are some slicksters I want to free right here. Okay, so the idea is free the slicksters because there's no there's no carbon dioxide in there for them, but there's carbon dioxide right here. So we're going to open this up to them so that they are free to consume some carbon dioxide in that, that area. As well, just going back to this cooling pipe. Um, did they do it? They did. Oh, so it... It worked perfectly. Okay, thank you so much, Sergeant Goodenough. I really appreciate that. Um, the comments you folks leave are very helpful, um, but this is going to solve quite a bit of quite a bit of problem. So I'm going to do that. If it's below twenty, yeah, let's do below twenty. That way it doesn't freeze, but that way it does bring the temperature down quite a bit before it goes in there so then we can uh we're no longer dealing with the the big old problem of uh this heating up as much as it is okay so that's good that is one thing solved the slicksters is kind of another big thing i wanted to solve like right off the bat because it's super easy and they're kind of self-maintaining in a way you know there you go so now the slicksters are going to start hopefully floating slicksters why you drowned anyway okay i'm gonna just let them do their thing i don't know why one of them is drowning we do have one here and there is this egg i'm gonna leave it alone i'm gonna not not touch any of that i think that it's doing fine okay good 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 this also means that this will keep going until it is completely out and there is still polluted water so far so that's good okay good slicksters taken care of now, let's talk quickly um, about this again. Make sure it's good. Beautiful, beautiful. So now it's getting that, that cold liquid in there. That's exactly what we need. And let's do just a wee bit more cooling. So here's the deal. We got petroleum in here. And, uh, or actually, uh, yeah, okay. Hmm, I will, yes, we'll do cooling and then we'll move to the other thing. So we got petroleum in here. And what I want to do is I'd like to cool off a few other points. So specifically this room and this, well, actually this room is the most important. This has cooled quite substantially and I'm very pleased about it. This worked way better than I was expecting. So super duper pleased. Let's grab... We're going to do, I think it's under utilities. We're going to test the, where are you? It's not under utilities. There it is. Conduction panel. We're going to try one of these out. Um, high thermal. Yeah. I mean, sure. I was hoping to use it on those, but I don't know which way's in again. <laughs> in is the... Yeah, in his white. Let's try it here. And let me do... Where can I... I can run it right across the center, eh? I think I'd like to just run it up here, actually. This would be the, the spot I would prefer. And we will liquid bridge it over and down. And... Into here. Yeah, let's try that. And then I do want to radiant pipe it through here. And probably just radiant pipe. What am I using for this? It's tungsten. We're not using tungsten for the radiant pipe. I'm not stupid. I mean, I am, but I'm not doing that. Um, let's see. Let's just use lead. I don't know. Lead's not really... I'm not really using lead for much. So I'll just... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, goodness. Okay. Here's what I figured out. Here's what I've... Here's what I've planned. All right. So we're going to take some. Probably not all of the liquid. Go in here. Do, 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 do. Through that. In this area. And then... And then over. And down. And through. Now, this isn't a perfect setup. 
Okay? Don't, don't, don't come at me. It's not perfect, I know. We will solve that when the time comes. At the moment, what I'm going to do as well is just, um, I think I'll set this up similar to what um, Sergeant Goodenough has suggested to, to do down here. I will try here as well to push a little bit more petroleum into there, and uh, that should uh, that should help out by filling this up once I once I set all of this up. So they're gonna just build that while they build that. Um, I'm gonna look at the the leaky oil fissure here now. I think you know it it is a temperature issue, right? It's a big big temperature thing. However, it's it's pretty well locked in its own kind of room. And what I think I would like to do is just kind of seal it up a little more. Like, it's it's really hot, but I don't think it's something I can't handle. Um, I'm pretty sure I, I can take care of it. So what I'm going to do is we're going to use insulated tiles down here. And we're going to make a little kind of room for it. And we're going to hold whatever petroleum it creates, whatever uh, crude oil it excretes, I suppose, will be held in this little little room here. That's the thought. That is the thought. Whether that is actually going to be the execution, we, we will see. Um, we'll see how it pans out. I think, you know, I've kind of been preserving this area for a bit. I think it's time to just let that go and do do some dismantling. So there's some uprooting that needs to happen. There's a little bit of little bit of playing around that needs to happen with some of this stuff. Um, I'm thinking as well, ripping this one open and deconstructing that and just doing, I don't know, a straight stretch there so there's not this extra bouncing around. Probably a deconstruct there. And kind of lock this up a little bit better so that the temperature is not really escaping this, this space. And if it's got, you know, that double up that we're talking about there, see it's kind of already covered in there and it's covered by this and this and 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 that really like it's it's quite it's quite secure temperature wise in here um but as long as i set this up again like this it'll be good and then what we'll do is we will send that crude oil directly to the oil refinery and uh there we go we're, we're you know we're, we're golden basically is what i'm saying how is the temperature over here is it helping reduce the temp just a smidge, just a smidge, not a whole lot. We'll see how it goes as time kind of progresses. It was very hot going in, so why are you taking liquid in at a hotter temperature than I told you to? Send a green signal if below this temp. Very strange, very strange. Okay, I'm going to set it to below 16 just so it's, you know, we're extra safe. A little disappointed, actually, that that was happening. Kind of weird, but fine. 41. So strange. I don't know why that's happening. Somebody explain that to me in the comments below. Why is that, uh, why is that being a little fusser right there? Where is he? 42 degrees. Why? 20, 25 degrees. What's going on? A little strange, a little strange indeed. But I will, uh, I will let it happen for the time being because we need water more than anything else. So we're gonna keep moving forward despite, despite these failures. And they're doing an absolute mediocre job digging this out or building this out, I should say. Oh, I didn't realize they could get around. Um, they should not be able to get around the ammo suit line. That is bad. <laughs> That is bad. Let me just uh, let me just resolve this real quick. Do 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 do. Cause where are you about to go? Uh, well, not great. Whatever it is, but I'll let them do it, I suppose. For something I thought was gonna be pretty like quick for them to do, they are taking their sweet ass time building all of these pipes out. <laughs> like I put them all on seven. Like maybe that wasn't good enough, cause there's a bunch of other stuff that's on like eights and nines. But like, goddamn! Build me my pipes, folks. Build me my pipes, you little shits. Um, they are wild. They're wildly slow. Um, it's been like a full cycle, and they've hardly built any of them. 
Oh my gosh, I don't even know how many cycles that took. That took a few. I know it took a few. They finally did it. They finally done it. Um, they're little little shits though, you know, little shits, little slow little rats. Um, okay, so here's the dealio. We are going to snag, snack from here. We are going to do this right here. Bonk. Cancel that. That's going to flow down there. And then this, what we're going to do is just an insulated pipe right there. And, and cancel uh, whatever changes it was going to make. And that should, theoretically, do the trick. So, let's see, what sort of cooling is going to happen? What temperature are you? You are 41, and you are rapidly going down in temperature. Holy shit! Oh my goodness! No, no, let's take a, take a look at the electrolyzer. Where's its temperature? There you go, 31. Wow, 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 wow. Look at that, just absolutely dropping down. Now, the only catch is um, it's not going to drop down that quickly. Oh my goodness, that was speedy. That whole ordeal was speedy. Look at it really ripping the temperature apart down here. Phenomenal. That's exactly what we need. We need to uh, balance this out a little bit better. Make things cooler. Love to see it. We love to see it. So, you know, we are talking that is at minus five. But uh, then you got this problem here. So there is the uh, the petroleum that is going in at a very high temperature. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to snip this because while I understand we could have the whole thing full, I think I just won't. I think it's just easier not to. So there's quite a bit of jumping around that goes on. This isn't really getting the cooling um, that it used to which I don't think I'm too keen on, but I am curious as to how quickly it's going to revert back to the temperature that it was. Wow on this. Wow. I am so surprised at the, the speed at which that is, that is reducing. Holy cow. Okay. And then, you know, 27 going in. Yeah. Holy. All right. And I'm assuming that's doing a little bit of a transfer and actually increasing the temperature of that it is. That's what we get at the time for having a, a smaller system. Now, good on us uh, for the expansion of the system. It is not going to solve all of the problems. I think what I should do is build out a couple of conduction panels in here. Realistically, I think that would be the, the best move is put in like a conduction panel or two to reduce the temperature of this building and reduce the temperature of this building. And that would actually resolve a few issues so we're gonna do in here we'll do one there i will do one underneath and i would love to do one right there but i think we're gonna have to do one in the middle just because of the way the uh the system is set up at the moment okay actually i should flip that so in so it'll go in did you do there so this is the this is the the plan so this one will go cool the base in there and then once it's cooled it will snag over here and we'll we'll build the piping out and uh i'll just build insulated piping do and then it'll go into that building and then down into this one and then from there into this one and then into this line now there's a little bit of an issue here so what I'm going to do for the time being is just make a little jump. Um, we'll resolve it at a later date, even though I always say that, and then we never do. But this is the plan. This is the scheme. This is what I think will work. They built that fast. All right. Anyway, checking the temp. Very good. Very good. So we have needed to cool this area down for a long time. You know, it's been way too hot over here and it's been heating up the remainder of the base and actually the temperature of the water is messing up the uh the the base there as well oh whoops 
Well, they died. That's that's unfortunate. Oh, they died too. Okay. Yeah, they all have the same age, and I'm pretty sure I destroyed all of their eggs. Well, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. Okay, let's go in here and, uh, yeah, not do anything with that. Okay, so the Pakus are screwed. That didn't work out. The temperature is fixed, kind of. That's good. The gas situation, we will put on the reserves for the natural gas. Thankfully, I was paying enough attention to the system there. And, I mean, since this is actually all kind of, I mean, I suppose I could start playing with this, fixing this up a little bit. What the hell is even going on with this? This isn't really necessary, actually. What did I do? Out, out, out. Oh, I attached all the outs to the same line so they don't go in order because what I should have done was built it attaching the outs to the ends. I mean really what should have been done is just fill this up and then that fills that. Okay. Yeah. I know what I'm going to do. Let me fix some of these because again it's not really doing anything. It's not, I'm not doing myself any service here. Um, letting it stay messed up. So the two outs Let's deconstruct these these pipes here. Okay, look at it. Look at me go. All right, so see, so it, I mean, it's not the most efficient system, but you see it goes in there, in there, down, into there, into there, into there, and then out. So now we have a little bit of a better understanding, because I think, I don't even know what sort of order it was dropping in, but now at least we know top, middle, you know, it kind of goes in order, so we're pretty confident about where we are with gas levels. These two will be full first, then these ones, then these ones, then these ones. This is strictly still siphoning from inside the base. Just doing a fantastic job. Wow, look at me go. I am happy about that. Uh, this is still obviously dormant for a while, 15 more cycles, which is sad. I did see that this was uh, working away which I'm very pleased about, so it's going to be dormant in 50 cycles, but it's going to be producing water for a while. Uh, and this needs analysis, so... Um, could be good to, to get in there soon. Let's dig this out and build this up now. This is the next task, I suppose, of the day. Unfortunately, I don't know, I get concerned about doing this, this particular activity, because I was reading online that it wasn't necessarily a brilliant idea to do it. Um, but although that was, that was back in the day when we didn't have access to, whoops, she, okay. <laughs> but that was back in the day when we didn't have access to the thermo aqua tuner and the, uh, the steam turbines and all that stuff. Also, is this still messed up? What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you doing this to me? I'm disappointed in your behavior. You're supposed to do good stuff, but you're doing bad stuff. It might be active for too long, and then it lets in two instead of one. I don't know. Uh, what's going on down here? We're satisfied thus far? Let's dig that out. Good, 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 good. Um, I don't actually know. I don't really... Well, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll build it, I suppose. Um, some of that is unreachable. I knew that. Let's just do this. I see you, and you're gonna be uprooted. Thank ya. And let's, uh, let's just speed through this for a second, too. Alright, so they're building this out, taking their sweet, sweet time doing it, as, as per usual. But I have noticed a little, a little bit of an issue here. These are fine. These ones are okay. They're just 30. But uh, the temperature of our liquid, temperature of our water, has uh, increased a bit, right? So the temperature of this area has also increased. Which, guess what, <laughs> is ever so slightly outside of the body temperature range that these can handle. So that's, uh, that's not good. That is not good. Um, I have a couple of ideas as to how we can kind of reduce it a little bit and one of them is is this obviously so we're going to turn this on so that we can try and reduce the temperature of this room a bit um this has been doing a decent job cooling things down i could actually um if i wanted to 
snip that line somewhere and expand the petroleum into that line. That would be an interesting choice to help cool that room down a bit. Not a terrible idea. Not a terrible idea. It would cause some problems, though. I already see the issues it would create. And I don't necessarily want to go down that route. We'll see if that... Is that going to help? Uh, I'd like to reduce the temperature. I don't have any ice. So let's just go and dig out a couple of bricks of ice here then um oh my gosh this whole place is destroyed oh, it kills every little bit of my soul um let's grab some ice because it's it, this is kind of an important uh, basically not an emergency but like it's a, it's a significant problem. It's not a it's not a little bit of an issue. It's 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 a it's a pretty significant problem to not have our food supply running. Don't like that. Don't like that one bit. Is anybody going to go do that? Oh, because of the security door. Somebody submit a bio scan. Who's going to do it? Not allowed. Okay, all right, great. I suppose I may need to just pull some of the ice from here, which is really not what I wanted to do, but if if I gotta do it, I gotta do it, you know? Let's just have them dig it out, and then it's sad. It is sad, it hurts my soul. But what I'm gonna do is we're going to then build out of ice um, right here, I think, because this is the, this seems to be the one that's like really impacted. Uh, temp shift plate, somebody build that, like, right away. And then, looking at this, thankfully the temperature is reducing a little bit here already because of that, so that's really good. Kind of the doubling up of both of these might help reduce temperatures. I am wondering about pushing something down into here to help reduce, because, like, what's really annoying is the fact that I'm cooling it down somewhat but it's launching two jumps in there which is the kind of problem I guess that I'm faced with let's have it figure itself out for a second make some gaps and the gaps might actually be beneficial in this instance I know we were talking about it last time how it wasn't what we wanted but maybe it is actually what we do want um, please, please, pl hello, liquid shut off. Oh, no, there we go. Please shut off quick. Uh, okay, just barely, just barely. We're gonna leave the red duration on pretty high for the time being, just so we can ensure that it's, I guess, behaving a little bit better. Okay, yeah, there you go. So, all right. All right, so, perfect, good, good, good. I know that's dumping water down, not necessarily where we wanted water to go, but, uh, you know, it is what it is, I suppose. Now, fungal spores, we're going to do a couple more of them. They consume slime, which is great, fantastic. We'll put two more down just to make sure our food supply is consistent because look, that food supply is bad. And did that actually reduce the temperature over here? It may have just done something there. So that's good. We got that set up nicely. This is set up well. Um, okay. Good kind of joint cooling of this area. Hopefully it kind of spreads the wealth there. This is actually still offering a little bit of cooling power, thankfully, with that little blip and that little blip. I could actually replace the pipe um, again, and, and that would be good. All right. So... We put in the bridge, we've we've done uh, a smidge of, smidge of cooling, we freed those slicksters down there. Speaking of which, how are the slicksters doing? One of them's drowning. Lovely. How old are you? 25, no, you're 19 out of 100. Why are you drowning? This critter can't breathe in liquid. We'll go over there, my guy. Mesh tile. Let's do... Um, 
somebody builds this fella some aid here, like wee woo wee woo fast, you know? Let's just do that. Maybe this will solve my problem. Because maybe that's just the issue, is that they're too far away from the liquid. Is somebody who also, what am I building that out of? Iron ore? Okay, we'll see. Who will be doing the thing? Meep, you good, you good guy, Meep. You're a good guy. Zoom yourself down there. Let's put us on, on fast forward mode so we can watch it happen. All right, 11,000 food, muck root. Not great, not great. Will this save the boy? It did not. Oh, there he is. Still drowning. Still drowning. Okay, I don't know why you're insistent on going into the middle of the room. Kind of, kind of goofy. Kind of goofy. Okay, so we're going to leave that alone. Let's rip this open. You know, the big old... The big ol' reveal of the day, the thing that we found all those many years ago, those those cycles ago, we'll rip it open, we'll see what magic lies before us as we use more of the geysers and fissers and um, vents around the, the land here. There you go. Okay, so already producing a little bit of a uh, little bit of goods. Let's actually get this stuff kind of swept up here. I like to do that on a nine, and we'll kind of see how the temperature behaves in here, how bad it gets, and uh, we'll just go from there. What are you? What are you doing? Oh, okay. <laughs> he was just fucking like. He looked like he was just hugging it or something. I didn't know what he was up to. Um, okay, let's get them to to kind of clean all of that up just so that we don't have them like running in oil later Just solve some problems. I suppose um, Okie dokie. Wow. The storage is full again That's kind of crazy um, Hmm also I'm realizing hello uh, No, no more uh, hydrogen really is being dealt with right because that's not necessarily oh it is actually collecting a fair amount of hydrogen there's a lot of hydrogen over here so i said i was trying to balance things out today i was trying to deal with a bunch of tasks you know we did get the uh we did get that bridge set up to try and benefit the cooling system but i don't know oh god oh what a mess 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 um Hmm. Let's do that for a second. I think probably how I had it set up before was fine. I, you know, it's shitty that I need to do that, but it is what it is. So below, let's do below 18. So let's just put it on below 18. Hopefully that kind of allows enough. I think the problem was that it filled up and then this was just not, like things were too close. I think I need room in here. I think I need, I think I need spots between them. Um, wow, that is uh, brutal, to be honest. That's really brutal. Um, unless we throw it back into here and we just kind of cycle the water through over and over and over again. But I feel like that's not an effective use of power. I don't know. I really don't. I don't I don't know what to do about this. Because we had it set up such a way that it was working. And this wasn't a bad idea. It's just this is really messing me up. Because it's only taking... It's taking one at, like, you know, the temperature that I want. So, say, 13 or something. And then it's taking the other one at, like, 40. So, it ends up balancing out to like 30 something some some of the time depending on how hot it is not ideal i don't know maybe i just pump the water cycle it in here and reduce the temperature hmm i'm gonna have to give that a little more thought in between don't love that vibe though don't love what's happening there uh Crude oil is is happening here. That's good. We'll wait until he has Steve has fully identified what's going on here, and I can't even see. Yeah, okay, there you go, Steve. 
I'll let him do that. And then we wanted to build a patro not a petroleum, a uh, polymer press refinement here. Um, but I think it ends up producing like steam, which ends up being an issue. Because I'd rather not have to collect it over there. Yeah, I don't know exactly what to do about the about the the polymer press. It should be over here somewhere, but I don't really. So it needs to be able to connect to the heavy one. Well, does it actually? I don't know why I was expecting it to. Um, oh, it doesn't need to be on the heavy one. I was just trying to put it on the heavy one. Um, so it just needs access to petroleum and then it makes steam. I just don't want the steam to go down here and cause me the same problems that I had in the basement last time. Let's do this. I'm going to put it in here. What do you do? Carbon dioxide is out. Overheat temperature. Let's make it out of gold because it's all I've got. It's all I have available. I'm going to put it down one. We're going to set up ladders down this way. Actually, the fuck? Why do I even need ladders down here? I, I don't. I don't even need... Cancel this. I don't need those ladders. I don't even need these ladders. Um, deconstruct the ladder. Deconstruct the ladder. Deconstruct the ladder. Deconstruct the ladder. And deconstruct the ladder. Because what we're going to do is we're going to lock this bad boy in here in its own room, I guess? So it can sit in its own, like, steam and filth? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Uproot. Let's, let's make this happen. And... I will allow, I guess, a ladder to exist to go down. And I will put in a mechanized airlock here. And then that kind of solves a bunch of things. A bunch of little things, probably. A bunch of the small issues. So you can hook that up there. And then we will hook it up to this system. But what I'm going to do is actually put the wires here. And snip it here and cancel this one and then put a switch right here so that I can kind of decide when I do and don't want this running and then we can take petroleum from here direct from the source and run it right into the unit okay so that is what we're going to have them do in the meantime in between time and then once they're done, we will take one final look at things and, and, and wrap it up. Oh my goodness, that took forever. But we finally, we finally got it done. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to hook up the insulated pipe and see what happens when the liquid comes down here. So we're producing plastic and it's, it's outputs carbon dioxide. Yeah, good. That's going to go right down in front of that. And then you also output steam, don't you? Like that's also a, a, a predicament that I end up with as well, is that there's steam that happens. We do have a little bit of a problem, by the way, um, as we're wrapping up this episode. Emitting plastic, emitting steam, emitting carbon dioxide, and creating heat. Okay, good. That's pretty well exactly what I was anticipating. Um, so we are making plastic though so that's important that is an important thing to make note of we needed plastic so i'm glad that we're making some but a little bit of an issue a little bit of an issue uh electricity yeah look at that um so the only things producing electricity are this and this which don't really count uh, but so mostly the, the petroleum generator, the coal generator when it when it functions, and uh, the hydrogen generator, also when it functions, because uh, it, it does not receive that much hydrogen, and we have none stashed, and we're also very much out of uh, all of our our um, shenanigans over here, and 
on top of that, there is none down here. So we kind of sucked up all of the, the natural gas that was down here. And now we're left with natural gas all the way down here, which I mean I could pump up, but I'm gonna need to build quite a quite a system to do that, and uh, it would need to attach into this. So I am considering that as an option. I'm actually going to, for the time being, do I have a switch to shut this off? New. What I'm gonna do for the time being is actually just snip this, and we'll revisit it later see you know what we can do about it because we need to conserve some power here and there and this also doesn't need to be turned on and it's overheating which is remarkable because i thought that it would be fine um okay let's actually turn that off good to know that i can't do that all uh, right so let's see okay i think we should just deconstruct that and then call it a day hands up in the air say it is what it is somebody go fix that we have a lot to work on as always we have a lot to work on but right now seemingly uh, a hell of a lot more than i was in anticipating i thought today was going to be nice and smooth and simple and we'd be well on our way to success however uh once again once again Electricity is a problem. Electricity is a problem. I may whip out a new coal generator and figure out the best way to deal with these stone hatches. Maybe make a little bit more of a farm. Go and get some of the igneous rock from out here and feed it to them. Figure that out. But uh, more chaos today. More chaos, as always. But I'm getting scared that we're hitting our limit and we may have some colony death soon because we came close we're running out of food we're running out of water and we're running out of power so these are not very good things to to, to be in uh, in the position that we're in but i think i may be able to save it we will see next time around it's probably that i've dragged things out for for too long but uh, you know we'll make it happen we'll get it we'll get it figured out We'll sort it, and if they die, I suppose they die, and we have to start a new colony with all the new the, the information that we have on a new map, which would be uh, kind of exciting. Not to say that I want them to die. <laughs> Not to say that I want this colony, Crunchy Station, to fail. I would very much like the Crunchy Station to continue to live on and go out into space. However, I am now getting scared. <laughs> so if you folks did enjoy this episode... Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new, and don't forget to leave any comments with tips, hints, or suggestions. You know I read what you folks say, and I try and I try my best to bring it into the videos, especially uh, all those helpful comments. So thank you again for those, and uh, as always, thank you for stopping by. Maybe you did, and I'll see you next time.